25, going to work. Mitchell soaring in for two more. Wide open, and he throws it down with two hands. Dunk it down. It's been Mark Mitchell all day long. Mitchell steps through. Oh, a reverse pull up. Okay, we're here with the film room with, with the Mark Mitchell. Uh, I'm incredibly proud of Mark and what he's done this season and how he's just continued to grow as a player. And we're going to take a look at some clips and see what Mark sees and, and share what we've been working on uh, as a team. All right, let's get into the, to the defense first. And, and clearly, look, Mark is, there's not a more versatile defender in the country than Mark and what he's done and his ability to guard one through five and all over the all over the, the court is so big for our team. Why don't you just talk about in transition what you see right here? Um, yeah, I think uh, I kind of almost fell into that to that still. Um, just trying to read the defender's eyes and uh, just be active with my hands is something we talk about every day, and uh, just let them begin to steal. You know, it, it, a big thing for Mark is his versatility. So here. I mean, right now you see you're going to five, right? You're going to P.J. Hall and your post defense is, this is one of the biggest plays of the season, defending him inside. Do you remember this play? I do. I remember uh, remember y'all told me to go guard P.J. Hall. I think Flip might have had a couple of fouls. Um, and it was win time. I was just trying to make a play late, um, do what I could, not let them seal me under. And obviously I got to handle the ball and it let us get in the steal. Okay, another time. Now you're going to shooter. You're going to Monsanto for Wake and coming over on the weak side to block a shot. Yeah, I seen Jared, I got sealed in by uh, Reed there, and um, I didn't want Hunter Salas to get, get an open layup, so I came over to try to protect the rim, and um, you know, it's hard to leave a shooter sometimes, but uh, you gotta do, you gotta protect the basket all the time. And then not many guys can rebound or block shots and push, which you can. Here's an example of our most recent game, and uh, you have great help side awareness here. We doubled the post. And again, your active hands makes a difference. Yeah, um, have active hands on the traps that we've been talking about all year. And um, this is one of probably the only time we've got it <laughs> in a while. So uh, obviously we it's can get, get Well, it must be, it's not the coaching call on that. It must be you finally did it right. The, the fact that we yeah, got it. So anytime really uh, I can have my defense lead in the offense for us, that's going to be good. And uh, obviously I pushed and found Jared and he uh, hit open three. Another key moment here, right? And getting a key stop. You walled up, right, and just manned yeah. up and made a play? Yeah, uh, Carr obviously had a, a couple buckets on us early in the game, and I just tried to take it upon myself to not let him score. Obviously, it was a big time, big moment in the game. Um, and I knew I was going to need to get a stop, and I just uh, fought my instincts, didn't let him get too deep in the paint, walled him off, and got a good, good stop. Okay, something you've been doing an amazing job of this season is offensive rebounding. Just talk us through as these clip, clips go, what you see and what your intent is when the shot goes up. Um, yeah, I think anytime. time, uh, I mean, I think my man actually had stepped up to try to contest Jared, so I knew I was going to have a free lane to the basket, and um, I was just in the right place at the right time and try to go up strong with it. And something where me and you have talked a lot about, but how you finish through contact just as your career has gone on here has been such a difference. Same thing, right? Being in the right place, yeah. the right timing. Yeah, obviously um, my man went to contest a shot, and I was there for the putback. And just the effort, and this is this is a lot, you know, so often you see a lot of guys give in to just not go into the boards because they're far out, and your effort here is what all young players should learn to do, is go after it every single play. Yeah, just trying to be uh, tenacious, trying to go after the ball, and obviously uh, it got me easy two points. You had a big time game here, and again, just in traffic, right? Just catching it, two hands in traffic. Yeah, just trying to find ways to go up strong. Uh, had to get going this game. I remember that play it actually probably led to me uh, That's right. having 19 points and I have just, you know, finding ways to get involved in the game anyway. Same thing, just the effort to go. All right, this is where it gets exciting. All right, transition attacks. All right, and, you know, I'll just say for everybody watching, you know, Mark's one of the few guys in the country that can run the break and, and sprint for early uh, rim attacks, whether it's from the catch or him driving but also he can lead a break as well. And his versatility is what makes us so dangerous uh, pushing in transition. So why don't you talk us through here what you see? Um, yeah, obviously uh, running ahead is something I always try to focus on, get out ahead. And obviously we have a lot of guys, all of us can push um, the fast break. So when any of us have it, um, just trying to find mismatches, attack, and find open opportunities, get easy points. How about right here in this spot where you're pushing the break? Um, yeah, I think uh, I've seen him backpedaling. Uh, he never really stopped the ball, so I just was trying to keep pushing, keep attacking. 
I think I think in film the next day we talked about this. Could that not be a dunk? It could. I was trying to dunk it, but <laughs> the ball slipped out of my hands. I just, if I was, I mean, I wish I could do that if I was you, but I just, you know, I always talk to him about things I'm jealous of. Like, I'm jealous if I could have done that. So I try to get him to do things that I couldn't do, and that's one of them. Okay, the contest, and again, running and leading the break, right? Yeah, and uh, obviously my uh, legs got a little bit on that one, but uh, I see him coming, hit a little Euro step. And then the M one. And the thing that our team has done, the sharing has been so good. Yeah, just trying to fight for a loose ball here. Um, and obviously anytime you get run outs like that, it's good for all of us, good for our team. And I love this clip because look, you start even, you know, right here, you're even, you're really one of the last guys on our, on our end, and you beat everybody down the floor. Yeah, obviously that's a great pass from Flip, and obviously the versatility just, when he gets the ball, I can run. And um, I seen his opportunity, and I just uh, took off and knew I was gonna get it done. Do you think people know you used to do track? <laughs> I don't think they know that, but uh, I feel like I show glimpses of I mean, this clip is one of the times you, people shouldn't be surprised seeing you, right? Yeah, I think I... You wanna uh, tell people what you did in track? Yeah, I used to run the 100, 200, I used to long jump. Uh, I was actually really good and went to Junior Olympics for years when I was younger, but I stopped in high school just because the time constraint was a little too much. What were you best at? I was best at long jump. I actually won Junior Olympics uh, when I was 12 and 13, and then I just kind of stopped doing it just because of the time. But uh, it was fun when I did it, but I don't know if I could do it like that anymore. <laughs> do you know what your, uh, what your uh, score was? My Did longest you know, jump. Yeah, your longest when jump. I was like 13, I was jumping like 21 feet, almost 22. So that was pretty good back then. Yes. Sounds like it. Okay, and let's talk about some of your activity in the half court too. Okay, let's talk about your awareness here, just reading the defense. Mm. Yeah, see? Cena Brown went low, um, and Judah Mintz likes to game up for steals. So I mean, I knew right when I caught it, I was gonna turn it and do a little spin dribble. Um, and, turn into two good points. Well, it's a big time read and also it's part of what you were saying with the passing and the sharing that our team has had this year. Okay, how about right here? Um, yeah, this season, um, just getting a little touches like that is something I've been working on big time. And obviously me and uh, the guards have built a pretty good connection doing that playing in the pocket. And uh, some me and Coach Dilly work on a lot. And uh, it's been working for me well this season. Obviously there I got a dunk off it. Same thing, right? Making the read? Yeah, we knew Louisville was gonna black that first possession. We got easy dunk. Mark does a great job with the details and we spent a lot of time talking about it, but the angle in which he sets the screen, the ability to touch, but then to get out quick, where Tyrese now has to make the right read of him, Mark downhill, and he does. It's a great pass, but also Mark's able to finish with momentum. It's just, it's great execution. I think that's where you're supposed to say, man, that was such a great call, coach. That was really it was a good, it was a great good play to call. Get, a, you know, get you a dunk right there. Okay, this is a read. You, you, you did this on your own. So I didn't, I didn't tell you to do this. This isn't, this isn't something I drew up out of a huddle. Just tell us what you saw right here. Oh uh, yeah, we probably had ran that play earlier in the game. And uh, obviously with the way Jared shoots it, you know, teams had to be alert at him at all times. And I felt him uh, on Notre Dame, he was off me a little bit. And I think me and Flip actually talked about it before. So. Uh, I just made a read, made a good cut, and a foot made a great pass, and I finished it. Again, just I think the key thing here is the spacing. You know, we have great spacing, and again, you make a great read, and you get two points out of it. I think just with the space we have on the court, with the uh, players we have on our team, obviously, uh, we have some really elite shooters, and I'm an elite cutter, so I think just playing off each other, and Flip being able to pass brings it all together, so we all get easy baskets off. Yep. Same thing there, a great sharing, right? Okay, so this is out of our flow, just coming down transition, right? Talk us through this. Yeah, um, you know, I just want to keep the ball moving. Um, you know, whenever we can get it side to side, especially early in, early in the clock like that, it's going to be hard for teams to, you know, uh, um, keep up with us. And obviously, sometimes a lot of teams don't want to switch because of our size and uh, my versatility. So uh, in that time, they didn't. And uh, Jerry made a good pass. Who'd you high five right there, brother? I was trying to high five. He had his hand out at first, <laughs> and then he, uh, we actually whiffed on the connection. But uh, it looks like you guys connected, so for what it's worth. Show some emotion there. How about that? I haven't seen you do that in a minute, right there. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done that, honestly. Uh, I don't know. I was just—it was more of just a spur of the moment thing. I just caught it, and I mean, I'm six nine with a forty inch vertical, so it wasn't that that difficult. <laughs> but uh, it worked out. It looked good too. I think the thing is with this. Once you show you can do it, 
And you gotta do it all the time. Yeah, right? I'll probably, I'll probably mix it in a couple few more times this season. Now let's talk about your ability to create off the bounce from the perimeter. Okay, so like right here, just talk us through what you see in, in this spot. Um, yeah, I seen he had a uh, closed out, just kind of off balance, and um, I try to take it strong. Um, and I obviously know the new charger, you gotta be at a certain time. He's, right. he's actually in the circle anyway, so it didn't matter, but um, just trying to go up strong, finish, gotta end one. And one of the things for you, I don't know if people are aware, but you could finish just as comfortable with your right hand, your left hand, and we're not gonna tell people what hand you like more, yeah. but you like both. I don't, I don't even know if there's a hand I like more, <laughs> I just, uh, whatever's available to me at the time, so I use. Same thing, it's your little ISO right here, right? and just taking your time, and again, now it's, now it's the left hand finish. Yeah, a little bit of everything. And one of the things, you know, you've always been a natural with, but it's your footwork inside. You know, your pivots, your ability to score over the top. Here you do score over the top. Another downhill drive right here. And I'm, the thing I love about this is you, you follow your shot. You just stay with it. Yeah, obviously I missed the bunny. I was trying to get it back, finish it. Okay, let's talk about your shooting and the job that you've done because you've won in, in, in conference play. You're leading us in three-point field goal percentage. You've done a great job and for really anybody who's ever played the game, you all, we all have gone through different times where you don't shoot the ball as well and confidence and the thing that you've done is you continue to double down on your work and it's paid off. So just talk about your shooting and you know this was a big game you know getting two to go down but just the confidence that you have and that we have in you but just talk about your ability to shoot open shots um yeah i think uh, something i've been doing my whole life obviously this year i started off just <laughs> in a little bit of a slump and um but i never stopped working you know i was working i was in here in the night i was before every practice with you and uh will Abe every single day and uh, i knew the work would come i knew uh i was never a bad shooter by any means and I just kept working and obviously the work is starting to show, so. And you know, this Notre Dame game, you know, obviously it was, uh, I think a turning point for our team, but for you, like nobody shot a better three-point field goal percentage in the country, let alone our team, than you since that moment. I think that speaks to just the mental toughness that you have because, you know, like I've been there. There's many days I was able to shoot my best and to stick with it. And now you've been as consistent as anybody in the country I think it says a lot about you and, and the, the worker that you are. For sure. Work always going to show. Okay, here, same thing. And, you know, me and you have talked about this, but hands ready, feet ready, and you're shooting the same ball. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Hands and feet, balance, it's beautiful. You want to talk us through this one? Uh, yeah, this is um, whenever uh, we have some, Flip has a mismatch down there. Let's talk about getting your toe off the line here. Come yeah, on, let's, let's talk about I was, that. I was going to get to that eventually, but... Uh, <laughs> no, I, I want to get to it now. <laughs> let's get to that now. I should have... Uh, I thought I was actually, like, farther up than that. I didn't even realize my, I could have had a three there. That would have been uh, one more three for you. Yeah, but that's a shot I've been working on a lot, uh, just it with is. the flash from, uh, you know, me and Flip playing off one another. Right. Uh, we have that shot available to us at different times. It's been a shot I've been hitting lately, so... Right. Uh, and here it is again. Same thing. Without my toe on the line. That's much better. That <laughs> makes me happy. Some extra points. And I think, I don't know if you want to talk about it, E, but a big thing is being decisive. You know, you've been so decisive with, you know, uh, shooting, driving, passing, playmaking, just the whole thing. And I don't know if there's something for you that's clicked, but your decisiveness has been a big key to our team with how you play. Yeah, I think just playing with confidence and what I, whatever I do, just be confident in that. I think uh, when you're sitting there trying to make the right play too much, um, it can hurt you. Just Whatever you do, just do it with confidence and do it full speed. And I think when you do that, you can't really make a bad decision. Well, I'll say this. B before signing off from the film room, uh, th there's a few guys since day one when I got the job as head coach at Duke. Uh, I called that first day and I knew this guy had to be a part of our program. And Mark Mitchell is one of those guys and as the coach, but I hope everybody, I think I can speak for everybody that's a Duke fan and supporter. This guy's an ultimate winner, and he does everything to win. His versatility is unlike anybody else in the country, defensively, offensively, and I'm proud of what he's done. He's got a lot more in him, but it's been fun to do this with you all. You wanna sign off too, Mark? Appreciate it. Uh, Duke fans, stick with us. It's gonna be a fun rest of the season, and uh, peace out.